and thank you so much for joining me today because I have a fun set of cards to create using just basic shapes. So if you have uh, some punches or if you have some simple dies like stacking dies, these cards are all going to be fantastic because they really just use hearts and circles. And then that is it. And we are going to create the most gorgeous little animal cards ever. Now I am making a set of three and I chose to make them four by four inches. Now this was just a sort of random size that I pulled out. You could make these into sort of mini slimline cards. I thought that would also be fun um, for some of them in particular. But for every card, I'm pretty much going to have this base look. Now this is honestly just a little bit of light texture in the background. So I happen to have the Tim Holtz tiles um, stencil here. And I'm going to be using some... Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass, which is just a light blue color. And here is where I just don't want too much color on, so I'm getting the right amount on my finger dauber. And then I'm just going to sort of do a couple of little spaces around the card. I really just want it to be a little bit of light background noise. Now here we are going to create a dog. This takes three little love hearts. So you can see I kind of have like a small, um, like a pretty small, a medium, and then a large. Now I'm using the Honey Bee Stacking Hearts for this one. There are lots of companies who do stacking dies, so just have a look around, see where you can get the best deal. I love the Hero Arts Infinity sets. Uh, they seem to be a good deal, especially when they're on special. Now, first of all, we have a large sort of tan colored, uh, I would say, or craft cardstock. I think that's actually what I cut it out of. Now, I'm going to add a tiny bit of shading around the edge, extremely tiny. This happens to be vintage photo uh, around the edge. Then I'm going to take some Versifying Clear Pinecone because I only have one brown ink in my Distress Oxide colors, and it wasn't dark enough to make a difference on this uh, medium brown, this mid brown. So I'm really just using the pine cone and I'm getting off most of the ink off my finger dauber. I don't want this to be too dark at all. And then this is just so simple but ends up in the most gorgeous little puppy dog ever. So I'm going to take this heart and cut this right down the middle. Then of course I need to re-ink the edges that I've just cut so I should have thought about that but that's okay. It takes two seconds to put this all together. These are going to be his ears. Now this was just a little bit too pointy for me so I'm actually going to just cheat a little bit and cut a little bit off the bottom of the main heart. So this heart is going to be upside down. Then we have the two ears and this is all going to come together I promise. I know at some point you're like mm, interesting but I think this is going to end up looking fairly cute. Then for his nose, I chose to do a, I think this is like a light black or a dark, really, really dark gray. I think it's essentially black uh, cardstock and I just cut out a little heart. I'm going to use googly eyes on all three of my cards today. Of course, this is optional. You can get really cute little stickers that are eyeballs. Uh, you can also just make some with obviously a white circle and then a little black circle stuck in the middle. I chose to go googly eyes because I think these are really fun sort of, um, they'd be great for children or I think they're just really fun cards, but they could really be for anyone. I put a few little dots on his little cheeks there. They're sort of like with the whiskers. And then this is where we're going to start putting this all together. If you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that I am a big fan of the squiggly frame. Now this is just a few lines using a fine point um, pen and I've chosen a black pen. I think this is 0.5 or so I think. Um, and you sort of just do squiggly lines, some little bits and bobs here and there, some little squiggles, a few little dots. And this provides a really good border. Now I am going in with this, my favorite things, this is called Four Legged Friends. Now this is an old stamp set, I have no idea if it's still available anymore. If it is, of course, I will link it down below, but this is just one of my absolute favorites. And I'm going to take the Yappy Birthday from this and use this for today's card. So you can see I have all of the... Um, masks that are in the back there. I reuse the stamp set so many times. Uh, it's just one of those ones that I think I will never get rid of. So once I have stamped that in some Versafine Onyx black ink, I am just going to pop all of these images down flat. Now honestly, these took me hardly any time to put together. 
very little time at all. All three of these cards were really quick. So there's the little dog. I'm actually going to do one little thing to him later on that I couldn't resist doing. So we're on to the next one and this is going to again have the tiles stencil in the background just as a little bit of light background noise. Now for this one you are going to need two yellow circles, two black circles, and then two love hearts. And again, these are all super, super simple to put together, which is my style of card making, absolutely. Now, I'm going to use some uh, double-sided tape for this one. Of course, you can use liquid glue. This just goes really fast, and we are going to be creating a little B. So I'm going to layer these up, hoping to get them relatively straight in line, and then the hearts are going to end up being the wings of the B. Of course, these are all sort of cartoony I would I would say um cartoon childlike I'm not sure but I was really pleased with the outcome of all of these these are sort of my go-to images when someone asks for a really quick card I can put these together in sort of less than 15 minutes and I think they still look um really gorgeous so I have got a teeny teeny tiny heart here and this is going to be like the little stinger at the end of the bee. So I'm just going to again put some double sided tape on there um, and just fold over any bits that come off and then this is going to be the little, um, I'm going to use the triangle end there and that's his little stinger at the end I guess. Now again I'm going really quick and simple so I'm going to use some googly eyes for his eyes. I'm using some pretty little ones. This, I've had these for so so long. I mean you can get them at every cheap and cheerful store going and they don't cost too much at all. It's good to have a stash of them. My kids love playing with them and love creating cards with them. Um, so I have, there are three different sizes in this one, I think, in this set. And I'm going to choose one of each size for the different creatures that I do today. So a couple of these, and then I don't have anything uh, really that I thought I could make a mouth with, so I just drew one on, and that's okay too. So using the fine liner pen, I'm just going to go back and forward and draw on a little uh, mouth there. Now in a minute I'm going to add on his little antennae as well and this is where I was able to kind of uh, have a little bit of fun because I ended up using some beading to create his little antennae. Now I did have to look up and see if bees actually have antennae and they do. They're used for uh, touch, taste, smell and they're also used to detect the um, temperature and humidity and uh, things like wind speed, all these good things. So they definitely have them. Now for this one, I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday stamp set. I think it's actually called Happy Birthday Stamps from Doodlebug. Again, I'm just, these are just fun, gorgeous little cards. So I'm going to make sure that I have room to fit my sentiment before I glue everything down. And it's going to say, hooray, it's your birthday. And so I think I'm going to keep these all relatively birthday stamps quite cheerful um, and of course you could change them for the occasion absolutely but these are just a little set that is going to go together in fact these have gone out of my stash already so I think I'm going to make some more they were nice and popular um, and so these are the little beads so I'm just going to cut a little bit of this and it's fun because it adds a little bit of texture um, a different element to it uh, and so I was deciding if four or five little beads here was a good amount but I think I cut five and then I end up cutting them down one more time to be four. Now as I said I'm making all of these little critters and creatures to be flat on my page. There is very little dimension apart from the googly eyes and in this case the little antennae and so um, you could choose whether you would like to pop these up to give them a bit more dimension. Now to put on these little beads I have in my glue bottle some uh, Ranges multi-medium in the matte finish which means when I draw a little line like this for his antennae that even where uh, there are no beads it's going to dry nice and clear and you won't be able to see it at all which is really important. I don't want any uh, gloss or sheen or shine um, so that is really important to have a strong glue that you know is going to hold these because it would look funny if this went through the mail and they came off. Um, so yeah, make sure you've got a good strong glue that's going to work for you. And then this is the next card finish. We are moving on to the next one already. These, as I said, did not take me long at all to create. Now I'm sure if you wanted to get really creative you could use a white gel pen and that would be fun to add on some details. I didn't, I was just happy as is. Now for this one we're going to be making three of this critter but for each critter you need to have 
are three of the same colored circle. Now this is just the way that I like to do it. We are going to be creating some ladybugs, except for these are going to be different colored ladybugs. Now I have a little hole punch here because this is the perfect size for the dots. I have a piece of black cardstock and I'm going right in the center there because if I do this, I'm still able to use that square as a matting layer. <laughs> so no one will be able to see the dots that I have taken out of it. Again, I'm doing a little bit of background noise just for consistency. And then I'm going to start putting together my little creatures. So you can probably get away with doing less, uh, but for me, this is just the easiest way. I've seen them done with two. But over the years, this is definitely the method that I have leaned towards. So for our little ladybugs, I am going to, um, you also need to have one little black circle there that's going to be the head. You need to fold two of the circles in half. And these are going to be sort of like the wings or something if you like. Um, obviously these creatures I'm sure are not anatomically correct but they are just gorgeous and that's all that matters. And so uh, I have made all of these cards in different versions, not necessarily in cards but I have made them uh, for art projects. I am a primary school teacher and so I have used all of these and we usually make much bigger versions than this I will say. I've definitely had to scale these down for the cards but uh, yeah these are just really fun and particularly for young kids they are bright, they are colourful, they're easy, there's not too many steps to put them together and that's my kind of card making as well coincidentally. <laughs> so I have his little head here now I just put a little bit of double sided tape on there then you attach the main body to it and you can see where I've put his little dots. I just put four on each wing. I think that's heaps. And then this way it gives lots of dimension, but you can also flatten this to go through the mail. So obviously it's going to go completely flat, which is brilliant. Um, but I mean, it does create some dimension, but in theory, you can put it pretty flat to go through the mail. Again, I'm going to choose a couple of little googly eyes. This is just my personal preference. And then I'm going to go about it and create the other two as well. Now I used a little uh, wax pencil there to help me get the dots on, just a nice, easy, cheap and cheerful tool. But for these little googly eyes, <laughs> my fingers were too big for these. So I'm actually going to use some reverse tweezers to hold on to these. Having a pair of these in your craft stash is a great idea. They are not expensive, a couple of dollars, um, and they are just absolute lifesavers. So obviously you have to squeeze them to get them to open. Um, and then that way they also can hold on to things um, when you want them to dry like holding uh, glue together to dry they're very very handy to have a pair or two in your craft space um, so right moving on I am going to add some little uh, extra details to these ladybugs but I'm going to get the main bodies done first of all so again you only have to fold two of the circles all the circles are exactly the same size now I will tell you that the um, paper scraps that I cut these out of uh, have created a whole new video as well for you because I want to show you how I go about using up my scraps, how you can be creative with them. So I'm going to show you exactly in another video how I use those. So you can look forward to seeing that coming up too. Now this one would be fun as a mini slimline card. I did think that that would be a cool, you could have them sort of all in a row. Um, but I am actually going to stick with the square because I want them to be all the same. I like them to be all uniform. So once I've finished off putting all the little bits and pieces on, and these look pretty cute again. I'm going to trim these just a little bit but again I just use double-sided tape and I know that that's going to hold well enough because I will pop some glue under here when I stick these on as well so it'll be just fine. So three of these are going to create kind of the three corners and then I'll put a nice little sentiment on here which will pop up and be the fourth one as well. So once we are ready to go we can pop everything together. I have some of the words here and I could have cut the stamps, but I decided to do a little bit of creative masking. So I wanted the happy to be that sort of really big, bold happy, but it does say have a happy birthday. So I'm using the birthday um, from another sort of stamp in the same set. They're all from the same set, but that's why I'm doing some creative um, inking here as well. So I did have it inked. Uh, I did have it masked off with a little bit of mint tape, but I have inked this up beautifully and this is going to stack nicely. Have a happy birthday. As I said, the ladybugs in this one are going to make the other four corners. They do fit on. It's a little bit squishy, but I think I kind of like it this way. 
Then, as I said, I'm just going to take off that double-sided on the back and add plenty of glue so that I know that nothing is going to move once they're on this card. And then that is pretty much going to wrap up the three cards that I have created today. Of course, as usual, I will try and link as many of the supplies that I have listed uh, and used today. I will put them in the description box below this video in case you would like to have a look. But I think that these are pretty easy. In general, I've used circles and hearts and some googly eyes and some sentiment stamps to create these cards. So that was pretty fun. Now, one thing when I got to this point, I couldn't help myself with this gorgeous little dog. I need his little nose to be shiny. So I'm going to add some glossy accents on here. And I just have, um, actually, I think this was a freebie bottle from scrapbook.com. Uh, I do a lot of my shopping through there because they often have one, if not two, freebies that you can throw into your cart. And these are always pretty useful. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get sent any products by them. Uh, I just purchase everything just like everyone normal. And so um, I couldn't resist with this little glossy accents for the nose. Now, if you would like to support my channel, I will leave a link to the Buy Me A Coffee website down below. That is the best and most efficient way uh, to help support my channel. But look at his little glossy nose. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.